you're going to have to take your grandchildren, congratulations, to every car, give them the tour. Um, but I'm, you know, listen, everyone knows my reputation on the board. I'm like a grown-up kid. Yeah. When this park is done, you know, just like all the other facilities, like at South Mountain Reservation, uh, where we had the zip lines and everything else, I'll be here. I'll definitely test it out with you, County Executive. I'm sure you'll be here. You're always the first one to cut the ribbon and to get into the jungle gym. And I heard a treehouse. That sounds awesome. Listen, I love treehouses. But again, I'm very proud to be here at the Mission of the Administration and everyone else, uh, the team that you have in place in parks in an open space, Lori Tanner, Kate Hardwick, Dan Silvante. Just keep up the good work. Sanjeev, you just, you know what? Now that Jim Paganelli's gone, we're going to see if you're going to be pulling your weight. Where is Sanjeev? Sanjeev Vargas, good man right there. So thanks for having us. I'm so happy to be here. Joe, I just have to make this announcement. Your daughter's expecting and your son's getting married tomorrow. I just want to get that on the record for everybody in the room, okay? It's a great, great celebration. And Lenny, I think uh, Joe was saying, when you were growing up, you were classified as the bad kid. I think that's what the, the neighborhood used to say. But uh, as I mentioned before, uh, Wally Joyce, the director of the Montclair Grass Grassroots, and that building is named after, was very instrumental in many of the programs that took place right here in Montclair, in this park, and we'd like to call on one of the board members from Montclair Grassroots, Catherine Nichols. Catherine. Also another provider in the in the Montclair community from the Montclair Neighborhood Development Corporation, Hal Pelham. Skateboard or something. Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Montclair and Greenfield Park. Uh, I'm the executive director of Montclair Development Corporation. I'm also the president of NAACP of Montclair. So I'm really involved in the community. So whenever we have an opportunity to really showcase this town. I love to be here to tell you guys about it. So, uh, Joe D, great county exec, you know, going to park in this, in, this, in this community, in this county, they're all beautiful. So the fact that we're going to upgrade Glenfield Park uh, is tremendous. And on behalf of my my board and the community itself, I want to thank the county exec and the field for doing what we think is the right thing. Thank you. I'd like to call on our Deputy Chief of Staff, and again, um, every Tuesday when our County Executive has his construction meetings, we're all gathered around the table, and uh, voice of reason. Where are you, Bill? Our Deputy Chief of Staff, Bill Payne.
my backyard was Brentwood Park since we lived in the neighborhood. We had no backyards, but we were close to Brentwood, so I grew up in the park as well. Uh, Joe D was here a few years later. Uh, he claims that he, that was his park as well, but my park was there first. But the fact is that we were both influenced by the by, by the surroundings that we we, we had at Brentwood Park and the, and the area there. So it's natural that uh, that this county executive uh, appreciates. Uh, being able to bring the same kind of quality of life to young people throughout. And this is certainly an oasis to be able to have in the midst of a metropolitan area to have an oasis where young people and elders fall somehow that I'm in that category. Elders can come out and enjoy it. And I want to commend those of you here in Montclair because we, we do know that the community, the community has worked for a long time to bring together the kinds of improvements and in fact sometimes to make it clear that Montclair was not going to stand for anything less than the best. And I have to Commend, uh, commend all of you for having done that, and uh, this, is, this will be the end result of it. And I want to congratulate those of you who have worked in the community and the county executive and the rest of us uh, who have helped put this county where it is, and also particularly this part. So congratulations. And with us also today is the uh, congressman representing this district. Uh, we saw him earlier this morning, and, and we're all proud of him down in, in Washington, although he's coming up with a little, little limp. Um, do you want me to start the rumor that we beat the president one-on-one -on -one in basketball, and that's why we're there? <laughs> Congressman Donald Payne, Jr. Thanks, Dan. Uh, it's a real honor and privilege to be here uh, with you on uh, such a wonderful occasion. See Mary Jackson back there. We've done extraordinary job. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you step away and you look back and you come back and you have a better perspective and the residents of the town realize that maybe they made a mistake a long time ago and bring you back to finish the job. Uh, he's been a great, great asset to this community uh, for decades. Uh, Mr. Pelham, who uh, gracious enough to allow me to speak at the NAACP function in Montclair, and uh, especially to the, the choices who have been the steady advocates for this part um, for longer than I can remember. I'm sure that they are delighted to see that the county executive has reinvested in this park. I believe you're responsible for what's here now. And um, I think I think the county executive feels once he sees the the play uh, the play apparatus fade that it's time to get new quality um, equipment. But um, I'm not surprised. I was fortunate to be um, honored by National Parks Association for my advocacy for parks across the nation in Washington. But it was what I learned as a freeholder in working with Joe D that allowed me on the, the uh, national level to be um, nominated for such an auspicious award. Uh, this doesn't happen by mistake. The dedication of our county executive and the freeholder board. Um, I always tell people, you know, the county executive comes up with the idea and it is the legislative branch of the county government that says, okay, go forward. But I mean, these days, you cannot find a project to argue with in the county of Essex. And that just goes to say that uh, the job that our county executive has done in terms of our, our county parks and putting Essex County first has really made us the model on the national level. In Washington, everyone knows about the Essex County Park System. And when they bring up cherry blossoms once a year, you know, in Washington, and they talk about their cherry blossoms, I always start to smile because I know once they get done, I'm going to remind them of Branchburg Park that has more cherry blossoms than Washington, D.C. And the county executive has made sure we stayed ahead of them in that all. So I'm just really delighted to be here. It's always great to come to one of these functions. I see my former freeholder colleagues, and it looks like they've relaxed the standards quite a bit since I was a freeholder. No, no ties all the way down to shorts. I mean, uh, uh, let me loosen this up. I was a freeholder. No, look, really. But, um, you know, the, the great work that they continue to do um, is just, a, um, just a, a, a real testament 
to what we do here in the County of Essex for our residents. So I'm just delighted to be able to be here on another wonderful afternoon. Thank you. And moving Montclair forward with our County Executive, Mayor Jackson, come on up and say a few words. Township of Mount Killer is lucky to have uh, Mayor Jackson as mayor. Uh, they're doing a heck of a job here in the Township of Mount Clare, uh, working with your council put together and moving this town forward. Everybody knows Mount Clare, not only in New Jersey, but it's been helped throughout the country and what it stands for. Uh, to, I see Congressman Donald Payne. Just think, last week, a couple weeks ago, he was in Africa with the President of the United States, President Obama. He was following his father's footsteps footsteps following the legacy and to, you know one thing about his father just like his son he never forgets where he comes from coming to here to a press conference talking about a playground that's why the pain family is the pain family it's all about reality they say they you know they sit with kings and queens but they never forget us back home man so thank you for being here congressman donald Payne. to the freeholders you know great vice president brendan gill is also a monthly resident be a tour of very tough on the freeholder board, making sure her district gets what it deserves. This is part of her district. We're also Brookfield Park. We're doing that playground there, too. The Pat Seabolt has been on the open space. The Lenny Luciano is a pain in the neck. <laughs> just have to bring it along. Take some time. It'll be fun. To Lori Tanner, uh, uh, to Dan Salvante, and to, uh, what's that? You better never forget Sanji. Thank God for Sanji and the Director of Public Works and his staff. You know, the guy who's the architect, what's your name? Dean from Montclair? French girl who? <laughs> I want you to know, very, very impressed. Not only does a good drawing, does a great presentation, but this is a, a great playground here, and it's nice that you come from Montclair. You did a great job. And we got a guy who's been with us the last 13 years and seen the construction. We want to make sure that this gets done, rubber gets done before the winter. So come the springtime, they're able to play. But we don't want to put the rubber down when there's any frost. We want to make sure it's done right. You will not see this anymore, right? For our architect, you see the way the 